This is a nice summer day here in Michigan, and I'm about to do something that I um, knew would come someday, and today's the day. I have at least three containers full of uh, spiderlings, Phytopus autix spiders, slings, so to speak, and I need to release them into the wild because I am not able to keep up with feeding all of them. So uh, I'll be doing that here shortly. Uh, it's always nice to return them into the wild where they came from, and today's the day to do that. Uh, if anybody has any interest out there in uh, having a pair of these, uh, let me know. Uh, post a comment on my channel and uh, we'll see what we can do. Maybe get you a pair of a male and female. If I can distinguish the male and female, it's so early in the game. But uh, uh, let's uh, see what it's like to release these out in the wild. I want to put some around my house because that's where I like to watch them and collect them and uh, watch them as uh, the summer goes on. And we'll see how many survive through the winter into the next year. They have about a Oh, anywhere from one to two uh, years cycle, life cycle. Uh, sometimes when they are kept in the in captivity, they can last up to maybe three years. Uh, one I have now, my, one of my females is at least three years old now. So, um, and I have more uh, babies waiting to be born by one more of my females that I have in the house. So uh, enjoy the video and thank you for watching and have a great day. Here's my little jar, one of my jars of my little spiderlings. And let's see if we can get a closer view of that for you. Here they are. And uh, Mama's in there, just chilling. And you can see some of her uh, babies on the surface of the magnifying lens I have on top of the uh, jar. So I'm going to take that lens off here. Well, of course, <laughs> we'll have a scramble, of course, for spiderlings trying to make exit. So I got my... Uh, handy dandy little uh, homemade uh, pooter that uh, I have this uh, as a result of one of my video watchers who gave me some great comments about how to make a pooter and uh, this is a little uh, uh, tinier version so to speak of my creation just a soda straw with a little bit of nylon stocking over the end and some tape to hold it in place works great for collecting up uh, little slings so let's see if we can bring a couple of slings out. I want to show you the comparison between the slings that were just born this past couple of weeks and uh, some of the ones that are uh, four or five weeks older. So you can see the difference in size already. There's one walking across a dime. So you get an idea of the size of these little spiderlings. Pretty tiny. So there's a little jumper on the edge of a dime. Little spiderling Phytopus autix. And let me show you one that's advanced now about four or five weeks beyond that size. To get him out, I'm just going to take my little pooter here and um, go over to my little case and we'll take him out and show you what he looks like next to the little one by the dime. Okay, I bought my little pillbox and he is right in here. Probably see him coming out here in just a second. There he is, or she. Let's see if we can bring him over to the dime and get a little better look at them compared to size-wise here. So, use my little poop, uh, little pooter scooter to see if we can uh, bring him over to the dime area. And there is a little older spider. You can see uh, ready, ready to move out. And right across the dime there, with the little guy on the right and the big guy taken off to the left. Anyway, there's a difference in size. Difference of four to five weeks makes. And the uh, bigger guy's checking us out, as you can see. So I get an idea of the difference in size between four and five weeks. There goes the big one. And 
And there goes the little one. Both off and running to explore the new territories. Here's the other jar with um, Mama in. And I think she's probably guarding her nest. This is a little um, nylon stocking top I devised to allow them to breathe, but also keep the spiderlings inside the jar. And um, let's say we got a couple of little spiderlings right inside the cap here, which you can see moving around. We'll be letting those go today as well. And let's see. Yeah, Mama's inside her little nest web there. And you just know when I take the lid off of this one, we're going to have a fiasco. But let's see what happens. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll blow some air on them first to kind of get them to drop down a little bit. Then we'll take the little uh, lid off I have here, which is a magnifying type of a glass piece. And then we'll get a better look at them as they all try to come out of the top of the jar. Okay, let's see if we can open up the lid now and use my little pooter here to blow a little air on to try to get them to come down from the top of the jar for at least a moment before they go too chaotic on us. So I'll take the lid off and we'll start to uh, blow some air on them. What we have here in the jar, if you can see this, we have mom. She just caught a fly I gave her. So, she's busy having breakfast. And of course, baby spiderlings making their way out of my jar. Okay, let's take them and release them to the side of the house now. Okay, here we go to let these spiderlings loose in my yard. And I'm going to put them right over here on the side of my house. And of course some of these little spiderlings will become food for other spiders, but hey, that's the way of the spider world. babies live well and prosper How about a few on the phone box here good yeah let's try some by my rose bush And go eat the aphids. Mama's still munching on her fly. Or sucking on her fly, I should say. She could care less about letting all these babies go. She's probably glad to get rid of them. Well, another one of my spiderlings has become lunch to a little zebra spider. And that's life in the big city. It's a spider eat spider world. Well, okay, that's one jar down and um, three more to go. It's going to be a long day. Some make it, and some don't. That one didn't make it in the spider's jaws. But this one lives for another day. <laughs>